What's going on everyone? Darkwater here back in Parkitech, back into our sandbox. Uh, last time we finished off kind of the entryway here. We've got our uh, manner of scary foods. Our, oh, what do we have in here? I, I forgot already. Um, got our frightening funnel cake and our scary snow cones. That's right. So we've got that going in for us. Um, let's go ahead and pull the scenery back on. We got our drink station over here, and that's good to go. We've got kind of a candlelit entryway here. Um, probably should do some path work really quick. Uh, one of the lamps. Uh, what do we have for scary lamps? I do not think I like that as a scary lamp. Well. Yeah, I don't like it as purple. What if we did a different color? Uh, can I change this to night? Uh, what if we did kind of a, a orange tinge? A little bit more orange. Ooh, I like that better. Okay, I can I can get behind that. So let's go ahead and come over here. We'll do do one there, there. That's one, two, three. One at the crossing point. And let's. Do them um, on the inside of the path over here as well. There we go. And just gotta stretch them out down here. Uh, do one right at the entryway, right at the exit, just so you don't slam into somebody as you're coming out, I think. Probably a good idea. that yeah that's not bad um let's go ahead and add in some benches i guess we'll go with the scary benches since we've already started with them there we go maybe not there <laughs> Uh, probably not getting any in there. We'll go ahead and put it there. And we'll go ahead and do them on this path as well. There we go. Uh, let's grab some trash bins. I guess we'll stick with the scary theme. Um, and one more over on this side. Nope, I don't want to bump. Oh, no. There we go. So we'll go with that to start with. If we need more trash cans, we'll and benches, we'll go ahead and get those. Yeah, I kind of like the way that's starting to turn out there. Um, jump over here. Let's jump to... What am I looking for? Jump to fences real quick. We were using the spooky fence. Just going to fence this area off. And maybe a little down that way. We'll see. Um, but I do want to kind of go in and work a little bit on the layout for the uh, graveyard and the track ride that we've got, Ghost Mansion Ride. I have a rough idea on kind of how I want it. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I'm going to start it down over he kind of here-ish. Maybe here. Let's just go ahead and put it in. Uh, 
So this ride is similar to the Haunted Mansion to where you can direct where you want people to be looking. And it will actually turn the cars that direction. Uh, no, let's go back. No, that was fine, actually. The issue I kind of have, though, is there's not a whole lot of scenery right now in the game to really kind of build rooms with stuff in it. So we'll kind of have to do the best we can. Um, let's go ahead and go up one, two, three. Actually, this. No, here. Um, already facing that way. Let's do kind of like the Haunted Mansion where you go up backwards. I think that could be thrilling for people. And then we'll straight one more. There we go. We'll turn it. And here, we'll turn it that direction. And actually. I think that might be the way I wanted to go. So this will be enclosed into a house. Uh, I think I'm going to do a scene down here and then maybe a scene on the second floor. Uh, let's go ahead and... That rotated way further than I wanted it to. Um, okay. Um, go ahead and put it forward like that. And we'll take them down. Nope, I want straight. Oh, nope, one more. Here, we'll take them outside. This one's going to be a pivot so that you're facing this way. Continue on, we'll go around here. I assume it still holds all the way around. Straighten it back out. And I think we'll just take it there. Drop an entrance over here. Exit down here. Uh, what kind of options do we have? Um, content with the colors. Maintenance is fine, operating is fine, don't want to add a station, cars. Oof. Let's go one car, let's crank it up to 20. And we'll go ahead and we'll test while we kind of build everything else, just to make sure things are going as they should. Uh, let's get that over there for now. So real quick, let's come in here, let's go grab the roof pieces, because that's actually kind of a good flooring piece, this flat one. Um, so I think this is going to be kind of the 
floor, if you will. Ooh, I might redo that. Mm. Might tweak this just a little bit. Let's go ahead and just keep adding the floor in here. Not want white. Oh, it's this way. So just kind of laying out how big the house itself is going to be. So that's going to be the kind of an L-shaped house. I'm good with that. Um, I'm going to come back into the house here and end up back at the start. Um, I feel this is going to be very uneventful interior. Because just clicking in, let's go to props. Bounds are going to be useless. This is large ones, space, not a lot. There's a well we can use. Uh, maybe we'll put a well over here. Um, Got some flags, got a cannon, got the spooky statue, uh, sculptures, nothing really spooky there. Got some vases, some chests, sacks, hay bale, uh, shield, we got eyeballs, bones, candles, headstones. Got some skeletons. Little skeleton looking out at you from the from the well. Um, crates, TNT. See, so there's not a whole lot. So I might not actually be doing too much interior. I'll probably do the graveyard out here. Um, let's get a rough idea on the walls. Uh, gonna go with the spooky walls. Actually. The western wall on that one, and nope, that's spooky. I do not. I thought there was another wooden wall somewhere. Apparently, the answer to that is no. Okay, well, that changes things. Uh, let's go ahead and delete that out. You fit there? Yes, you do. So that's the interior. That'll be the exterior, and that'll be the side door that you're coming back in. Um, do, do, do. Something like that. Nah, it's too dark. Oh, 
Let me get a couple of different colors here. I don't know if that's too light, actually. You know, I think I do like that. Um, we're going with that. like a dirty white like this was a a nice white mansion that got old and dingy over time uh let's go ahead and grab wall or do i want the ones with the windows um actually going to be coming all the way out here. That's going to be the entryways. Uh, let's pop back up here, grab this. So I'm just going to take the queue down and back and out. So let's go ahead and grab the windowed again. There we go. And we'll do some just walls over here. We'll kind of alternate with windows. Uh, back of the house, same kind of thing. We'll just do walls. Alternating with windows. I think I'm just going to keep this kind of squared off. So this will have two windows on it. And this side of the house again will just alternate. This is going to be walled off, and this is going to be walled off. Still going back and forth on this, because there's just going to be a wall here, so I need to flip them around. Too low. Um, Go ahead and fill in this area. Don't want one there. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of fill in the front area like that. Um, Pause it with the uh, sun out. Actually, let's come in here with this one.
and a couple ones with wall or uh, doors in them for the upstairs. Like there's different rooms that you can, can go into. Um, really do want to flip that around but I'm gonna to have to think on that I feel um, come back in here for roofs for a quick second Uh, let's go ahead and set the queue. There we go. And let's set the exit path. We're just going to go with a cobble like that. That'll work. Um, Again, still stuck on what to do with the inside. I might just leave that for the time being, just until I can kind of wrap my head around what I want to do with the inside. Uh, real quick, let's come back in here, grab the window piece. Just kind of finish off the general shape of it. Um, oh, actually, I take that back. I want the roof back. You're going to hit your head, aren't you? Yes, you are. So we'll take that one out. And apparently that one out. <laughs> and we'll leave that. So that's not too horrific there. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave that open for the time being. Think on what I might want on the inside, but while we're doing that, let's go ahead and speed things up so I can get rain out of here. Uh, come back up to props. Uh, medium? Nope. That's where the snowmen are. Don't think I need snowmen. But we'll come out here. We'll just go ahead and do some tombstones. There we go. Let's just pause this for a second. Um, got coffins. Let's go ahead and get a stack of coffins, maybe one right up against the wall here. Kind of a fancy headstone. There's a mound in here, is there not? Yeah. There we go. We've got a burial mound. Um, there's this broken one over here. Actually,
broken one here. Got a little skeleton coming out. So on this side, coming out to nice pristine headstones. Fancy schmancy one here. Maybe a little older one that has a crack on it. And we go with a, another nice headstone. Then as you come around here, there's Headstones kind of on the hill here. Maybe. And I think out here opposite our restaurant or our Shop. We'll put a couple graves as well. Um, I realize that it's not necessarily facing the correct direction, but that's okay. Because if you're anything like me, you like to look everywhere and anywhere. Um, uh, we're going to put you over here. And we're going to lay the mound over you. There we go. Um, Got a little happy guy here that's just kind of leaning over with his hat on. We'll just lay him back there. Got a little skeleton guy just kind of waiting for you. Yeah, let's go ahead and do one more, maybe right over here. Couple down there. Let's go ahead and throw the dark willow trees. That's the biggest that it gets. There we go. Is there a space anywhere in here? No. Uh, let's adjust the color a little bit. Spooky tree out here with the, the little owls. That one just doesn't have anything. Okay. I kind of like the little owls. Um, I think I'm just going to face this one this way. And again, we'll do another willow kind of over here. We'll do one more on the corner. Um, I think we'll just kind of finish this off a little bit with 
some of the shrubs with a dark color here. Just kind of add a little texture to this. A little bit of different color here. And just kind of fill in with some shrubs underneath. Let's go a little bit darker here too. Don't want to cover it up too much. I want to be able to see some of the decor. And I I think I want one more willow kind of on this corner. Um, and one of the dark ones over here too. There we go. Mm, I do want one back here. Oh, it's just kind of shielding the the back area over here as well. Uh, I might do some more bushes or something down here. Looking at it now. Um, not purple. Don't know why the color changes like that. Yeah, that'll work. So yeah, I think I'm almost done with the graveyard area. I kind of like the way it's kind of turned out. Um, let's do a little bit of dirt here. Just like people have been using it as kind of a, a pathway that they can get up to the mausoleum uh, yeah just that it's kind of been grown through um, but yeah, I, I like how this is turning, turning out so far. Um, again, just need to figure out what I'm doing on the inside, but outside I'm pretty content with. So we'll fill in this portion next time. We'll put a roof on it and see what we're going to be doing on the inside. And, uh, hopefully that'll work out for us and, uh, get us a, a decent rating on the ride here uh but i'll go ahead and i'll leave it here hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you have any suggestions for what to put on the inside go ahead and drop it down in the comments below and as always i hope you guys have yourselves a fantastic day Bye.